Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang Voltage Division Rule. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So basically, ma-apply natin ang Voltage Division Rule when we are dealing with series resistive circuits. To illustrate this, let's say we have a battery. Let's say it has a voltage V and there are two resistors in series connected across it. So let's say we have R1 and R2. Now, let's try to derive the formula for voltage divider rule. So we know that in series circuits, the total current that will pass through each resistor is the same, which is equal to the total current. So we have IUT is equal to I1 is equal to I2. And IT can be computed as VT over RT using Ohm's law. And in series, we have RT equal to the sum of the individual resistances. So therefore, since we have only two resistors, RT is equal to R1 plus R2. So substituting this value, we have IT is equal to VT is just the voltage of the battery, which is V. And RT is equal to R1 plus R2. Now, using Ohm's law, pwede rin natin makompute yung current through I1, which is equal to V1 over R1. Same as dun sa current through R2, which is I2, that is equal to V2 over R2. Now, according to sa equation natin na IT is equal to I1 is equal to I2, pwede natin equate yung representation nila in terms of voltages and resistance. So for IT equals I1, we have IT is equal to V over R1 plus R2 and I1 is equal to V1 over R1. Now, if we will try to solve for V1, by applying algebra, we have V1 is equal to R1 over R1 plus R2 times V. Likewise, for I2, we have IT is equal to I2. So, IT is V over R1 plus R2 and I2 is V2 over R2. Now, solving for V2, we have V2 is equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 times V. So, yung representation natin ng V1 at V2 ang tinatawag natin na voltage divider formula. So, basically, pakocompute mo yung voltage drop across a particular resistor, let's say R1, by simply multiplying the source voltage or the battery voltage by the fraction of the resistance R1 to the total resistance. So for V1, we have R1 over the total resistance of R1 plus R2 times the voltage source. Likewise, when we are, kung hanapin naman natin yung voltage drop across R2, we will have R2 over R1 plus R2 times V. So, kung ano yung resistor na hinahanap nyo, yun yung magiging numerator nyo over sa sum ng resistances, then tatawags nyo lang sa voltage source. So, ma-analyze nyo yung voltage divider as dividing the voltage V as fraction of voltages across each resistor. Gamit yung voltage divider, hindi na natin kailangang isolve yung total current ng circuit at at hand, pwede na natin agad madirektang masolve yung voltages across each resistor given that we have the resistances of each resistor and the voltage of the source. Now, we can extend this definition or this formula for voltage divider when we have more than two resistors. So, let's say 
we are trying to find the voltage across n resistor. For n number of resistors connected in series, we have V sub n is equal to R sub n over R1 plus R2 plus so on until the last resistor Rn but multiplied by the voltage of the source which we can denote as V. So using this formula, we can find the voltage across each resistor when we are dealing with series circuits. So now let's apply the concept of voltage division dun sa na-compute natin voltages across each resistor dun sa example ko sa video ko sa series resistors para ma-check kung magtatali yung sagot natin using the formula for voltage divider. So ito yung uh, circuit ko sa series resistor video ko. We have 20 volts and 3 resistors R1, R2, at R3. At ito yung mga na-compute natin doon sa voltages across each resistor. So we have V1, 1.25 volts, V2, 6.25 volts, and V3, 12.5 volts. So anyway, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video na yun, ay ililink ko na lang para mapanood nyo kung paano natin kinompute yung voltages na to. Now, hanapin natin ngayon yung voltages na to using the divider rule. So for V1, we have R1 over R1 plus R2 plus R3 since meron tayong katlong resistor, then multiply by the voltage source. So we have R1 is 10 ohms over R1 which is 10 ohms plus R2 which is 50 ohms plus R3 which is 100 ohms. Then multiplied by the voltage source which is 20 volts. Using our calculator, we can find that the answer is 1.25 volts which is the same. Likewise, sa V2, we have R2 over R1 plus R2 plus R3 times V. So we have R2 is 50 ohms over 10 ohms plus 50 ohms plus 100 ohms times 20 volts. Using calculator, we can find V2 as 6.25 volts, which is the same as what we get before. Lastly, for V3, we have R3 is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 times V. So R3 is 100 ohms over 10 plus 50 plus 100 times 20 volts. So finally, V3 is equal to 12.5 volts, which is the same as what we obtained before. Okay, to counter check pa, tatry ko siyang i-simulate para ma-verify yung voltage divider formula. So ito yung simulation ko to verify the voltage drops across each resistor using the formula for voltage divider. So for R1, we have 1.25 volts, so tama. For R2, we have 6.25 volts, so tama rin. And then lastly, for R3, we have 12.5 volts, which is tama rin. So therefore, na-prove natin yung voltage division principle through simulation. Okay, that is the concept and formula for voltage divider rule. So, sana ay may tutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.